Tae Yong Ho, one of the highest ranking North Korean officials to defect to South Korea, has been revealing the reasons for his decision to the South Korean authorities. For more on what Seoul's intelligence agency has learned so far, Kwon Soo reports. North Korea's former number two diplomat in London, Tae Yong Ho, who defected to South Korea in August, reportedly made his decision due to North Korea's repressive leadership. South Korea's ruling Senate Party lawmaker Lee Cho-ru, the head of the Parliament's Intelligence Committee, who held a closed-door meeting with Tae and officials of Seoul's spy agency Monday, told reporters that the former diplomat based his decision to defect on his disappointment with the North system. Tae said he became aware of the reality of the Kim Jong-un regime's, quote, reign of terror, under which he said people are living like slaves. Representative Yi also said Tae denied Pyongyang's claims that he fled due to crimes that include embezzlement and rape. According to Tae, many officials are suffering from depression, knowing they and their families will have to deal with Kim Jong-un's rule for decades as the leader is still relatively young. The former diplomat was said to have sensed South Korea's democracy and development through South Korean dramas and movies, which he was able to watch during his long stay abroad. Meanwhile, Tae said he defected with his two only sons, rectifying previous reports that mentioned Tae having a daughter. Following the end of the National Intelligence Service's months-long probe, Tae will be free to settle in South Korea society beginning Friday. The defector has expressed his will to risk his safety through public activities and devote the rest of his life to freeing the North Korean people from repression and persecution and advancing unification of the two Koreas. Kwon Soo Arirang News.